Xerneas looking to go for the close combat and lightly dip Boston last second. Going to invest that protect shield. Boston then farms up. The opponent attempts to make the catch onto Landorus. However, is this a catch they want to make? Welcome back to the channel. Today, the leagues are rotating. We're going to have all three leagues available. That, of course, will include the Open Master League. So today, we're taking another look at my good friend, Discord moderator and favourite battler in the world, ex-Boston in the Open Master League. Master League's always been my favourite league to shout class because I haven't had the Pokemon to play myself. However, this season, I spent a massive amount of Stardust, powered up some Pokemon and gave this a try myself. Spoiler alert, it isn't as easy as you would think. I've tanked my lowest ever elo. I'm currently below 2,000, which is unheard of for me. Not saying that's a bad elo or anything like that. I personally just get my elo around 21 to 2300 and never drop below that. So today I'm going to be taking some tips from my good friend Boston on how to actually win in the Open Master League. Without any further ado, let's get into the battles. And in game one, we lead Ursaluna into Mewtwo. I actually play a lot of MLP. I think Shadows, without a doubt, unbelievable in that format. I've actually hit Legend twice, only using Shadows in the Master League Premier. However, these legendaries are giving me a headache. However, let's see how Boston plays this one out. We tank the side strike, farm up, return fire with the Ice Punch, forcing a Protect Shield. Boston then pivots, makes a very nice side strike catch onto his save switch of Lugia. Not only was that a very nice catch, because the side strike did absolutely nothing to our bulky Lugia. Boston is also on an ABB team with double flyers in the back. So we're looking to bait out the hardest counter for our flying types. The opponent stays in, master bait us like an absolute savage, continuing to throw side strikes. Boston looks to get rid of Mewtwo with the sky attack. The opponent continues to stay in and you're about to see Lugia's bulk. Surely this one is the Shadow Ball, but Lugia just doesn't give a fuck. And to my surprise, the opponent continue to bait. Trainer, think of the poor defenseless cats. The opponent sends out Kyogre. Kyogre gets hit in the face with the Aero Blast, nearly getting one shot. This bulky blue whale, or in today's case, pink whale, as it's shiny, does reach the last second surf. Of course, we're not going to shield. We send out Ursula, tackle farm down before the waterfall registers back up. Comes Mewtwo. That gets tackle farm down as well. And oh, hello, Dialga. Today, you stupid tin can, it is not going to be your day. We've landed the Ice Punch. Pivot into Gyarados. We're almost certainly going to get baited with another Iron Head. This opponent really needs to go to rehab for the horrible master baiting habit. We're going to fire off the crunch and that is going to be all she wrote. No amount of baiting is going to save this opponent. GG's and thanks for playing. Heading into the next battle, we lead Ursaluna into Dragonite. Another shiny, very nice Mr. Opponent. However, does the opponent know about a double super effective Ice Punch? Because if they don't know, they're about to find out Ice Punch. No, go shielded. Once again, Boston say switches into Lugia. And despite us being a shadow, you're going to see this is such a waste of energy that Dragon Claw just did nothing. The opponent then send out Metagross. This is almost certainly double steal. Boston... Full sending the Aero Blast, despite this being resisted, would do around half their HP. The opponent is now all shields down. I think Boston just needs to save his shields for Gyarados, and Gyarados is going to sweep. I'm almost certain it's going to be Excadrill in the back. And if you're wondering how I know that, it's just the most common triple non-legendary team you're going to see in the Master League. Boston sends out Ursaluna, farms up, makes a savage Meteor Mash catch. On to Gyarados, Boston. I love it. Keep going, buddy. I'm just going to let you cook here. The opponent tries their luck, going for the wham, bam, combo play, but Boston with two protect shields to hide behind, shields up the Dragon Claw, commits to the Dragon Breath farm down, Gyarados is now incredibly low, however we do have residual energy, good to go. The opponent sends back out Metagross, Boston of course, going to be forced to shield here, please be Excadrill or we're in trouble, Boston farms up. We've got a Crunch and an Aquatel, good to go, Crunch will be secure on the knockout on Metagross and just like that. Of course, it is going to be Excadrill. This Aquatel is going to land for huge damage. Boston also goes for that wham, bam, combo play. However, unlike our opponent, we're serving up the Big Mac and the fries and going to pick up the dub. GG's. Heading into the next battle, we see another Dragonite. Come on, please land that double super effective Ice Punch. Boston farms up, lets the opponent throw first. We're calling the bait. The opponent full send the superpower. Holy smokes, we near get one shot. We then see the simul swap of Lugia into Mewtwo. The opponent farms up to what could be a Shadow Ball. The opponent actually throws the Ice Beam, which is also super effective, but Lugia just doesn't give a crap about anything. It is so, so bulky, even as a Shadow. We easily absorb the damage return fire with the Sky Attack, rocking Mewtwo deep into the red. Boston correctly shields up the next Ice Beam. 
is going to get a very nice dragon tail farm down and leave with residual energy however the opponent still has two protect shields too hard behind the opponent opts to send out metagross boston looking to force that protect shield or land big damage with the aero blast aero blast goes unshielded with nc the pivot into gyarados the opponent Bank some energy. Send out Dragonite Boston. Isn't even at the crunch. Is the opponent counting? Yes, they are. The opponent hanging on to two shields for Metagross. And this smells trouble. Boston's going to be forced to tank this Dragon Claw. As Meteor Mash is such a broken move. That even a resisted mash would do more damage. Back out comes Metagross. I think if I was Boston, I'd be committing to the fast move beatdown. We throw the Aqua Tail. Of course, the opponent shields. Can we fast move beatdown? Boston waiting at his clock. I think we've got to send in Lugia. Shield this up and then just continue to tap our phone and pray. Boston actually lets the charge move go and we're going to get bullet punched farm down. Oof, tough game. Moving on to the next one. Familiar lead, Ursaluna into Mewtwo. These tackles, which look like Ursaluna is having a fit, really chunk. We can absorb one side strike, but it's not pretty. Side strike, a busted move. Boston farms up, throws the ice punch just before side strike. Number two. Ice Punch, Force to Protect Shield, then pivot once again into Lugia and make a very nice resisted side strike catch. Let's see if we manage to bait out the opponent's anti flyer. This opponent looks like they're happy to stay in. Likely trying to force a Protect Shield with a Shadow Ball, but Lugia just doesn't give a crap. You can see the opponent does throw the Shadow Ball. However, we easily absorb the damage. The opponent then pivots out into Togekiss. We land the Sky Attack. The opponent does get the full Charm Down Farm Down. Not that it was much farm. They only got two Charms. But regardless, it's very nice to bait this thing out, especially if the opponent lets us land the Ice Punch, as Gyarados doesn't really like this matchup. Using double resisted non-stab Dragon Breaths, oof, the opponent does invest that Protect Shield. It's now all down to Gyarados to 1v3 this team. Boston, of course, going to shield up the incoming Ancient Power. I can't really see us over farming all that much as these charms are tearing us apart. I like this player going straight for the Aqua Tail, just getting this stupid Charmer off the screen. We know Mewtwo is alive, however it is energy dry and quite low. Back out comes Mewtwo, the opponent farm up some energy, then pivot out into Groudon. Despite Gyarados being very low on health, Gyarados looking primed to sweep. The opponent fire off the fire punch, trainer that isn't going to get the job done. Gyarados returns fire with the Aqua Tail, landed for huge damage. Gyarados with residual energy, able to outpace the Aqua Tail. Number two, the opponent's going to need to commit to the Psycho Cut farm down, which just isn't going to happen. They opt to throw a charge move, which of course Boston is going to shield and Gyarados is going to sweep the entire team. Very, very nicely done. GG's. In the next battle, we lead Shadow Ursula. Into a Pokemon most people call BBD. That's because Dialga needs to be best buddy to get the most value out of it. This one actually doesn't have a best buddy badge. And even if it did, I'd call it basic bitch Dialga. Boston makes a very nice catch. Catch the Rinsted Iron Head onto his Gyarados. So if you are a fan of using top meta, I'd highly recommend best buddy in your Dialga if you would like to use it. Because if it's not best buddy, a level 51 Dialga is actually going to do one more damage per Dragon Breath in the mirror. So if you get into the mirror without being best buddied, you're essentially going to be destroyed. The opponent pivots out into their own Gyarados, which is actually running Waterfall. Boston's able to force a Protect Shield with the departing Aqua Tail. However, this Gyarados has so much residual energy. We send out Lugia. Did the opponent blind throw an Aqua Tail? Yes, they did. Another very nice play from Boston. The opponent is going to reach a crunch before going down. So I wouldn't be surprised to see Boston invest the Protect Shield. Oh, Boston... Saying, I'm not shielding Lugia. It's essentially the third, fourth, and fifth shield. The opponent sends back out Dialga. We fire off the Sky Attack. Sky Attack goes unshielded. We then go for the wham, bam, combo play. Pivot out into Ursuna. Fire off the Ice Punch. We're getting a huge amount of lag. Trainer, have you forced close the app? Ice Punch goes unshielded. The opponent certainly has left. What's in the back, Trainer? Always growled on. Can I blame the opponent for rage quitting? Yes, because you should have just top left, but regardless, this game was absolutely over. Ursula going to look like he's having a fit, headbutting the shit out of this ground on. We're going to tackle farm down and take that game. And that is going to draw to a close set number one. Boston goes a very nice four and one, showing me how it's done in the Master League. In the next battle, is the Excadrill in the lead? I'm never a fan of baiting because every time you master bait, a poor defenseless cat loses its life. However, I certainly would be baiting this Excadrill as they're almost certainly going to shield. High horsepower would do 125% of the health. Boston full sends it. Of course, forcing a protect shield. We then pivot out into Lugia, hoping to catch the drill run. Unfortunately, opponent hold their energy, but non-stab rock slide just isn't going to get the job done. 
you can see that two won't be lethal. Perhaps even three won't. Let's see if Lugia can survive the third. Maybe that's a bit optimistic. We certainly can't survive the third, but regardless, they're not going to be able to mud shot farm down. Boston fires off the sky attack. The opponent going all in on Excadrill. This now sets up a very nice opportunity for Gyarados to sweep. We can send out Gyarados. Shield once. Commit to the Dragon Breath farm down. We've already seen that Gyarados is very underrated in this meta. And these mud shots are double resisted. So we're going to leave it almost full health with a shield in tow and energy good to go. We do indeed go for that play. Boston gets a huge farm down. The opponent sends out Dragonite with no protect shield. Too high behind. It's instantly greeted with the crunch. Crunch lands for decent damage. Unfortunately, we don't see the defense drop. However, what we do see is yet another very nice catch. The opponent throws the Dragon Claw. The opponent is going to be able to Dragon Breath farm us down. However, they won't reach another charge move. Gyarados gets the Dragon Breath farm down. The opponent's final Pokemon is Mewtwo. And Mewtwo is not going to appreciate this crunch. Crunch lands for huge damage. The opponent's going to need to double up on charge moves. They just aren't going to be able to get there. Boston, of course, will be shielding up this charge move. We can Dragon Breath farm down. But regardless, we reached Aquatel. And that is going to be all she wrote. GG's and thanks for playing. To be honest, it would have been close. Perhaps they would have been able to get theirs. I think they're only one Psycho Cut short when they die. In their next battle, we see Xerneas in the lead. Of course, Boston does need to be scared of the close combat and this opponent goes straight for it. Looking to force an early protection of Boston. Shields up the close combat. The opponent then pivots out. Looking to make a catch. But trainer, are you sure you want to catch this charge move? Ice punch. Double super effective. Get that Landorus out of here. And the opponent's going to say, shit, I didn't know the moveset and concede the match. In the next battle, we do see a true BDD. Best buddy of the Alga. Of course, the basic bitch tin can. Boston stays in. Looks to catch the Iron Head onto Gyarados unsuccessfully. Boston going to respect the potential Thunder or Draco. The opponent full sends the Draco. Very good shield. The opponent continue to stay in. Boston goes for the Aquatel. I'm not really sure on this player. I don't think it's going to be lethal. Oof. This is only an Iron Head. But Gyarados is so, so glassy that it's going to do quite a lot of damage. You can see we're left deep in the red. But we do have residual energy. Good to go. Huh? The opponent sends out Landorus into a loaded Gary. What the heck? Aquatel forces the protection. We look to go for the wham, bam, combo play, but the opponent 5 at us, making a very savage ice punch catch onto the bulky blue whale. Boston isn't going to be able to reach the high horsepower. Again, this ice punch likely doesn't force a protect shield. You only really need to count us soon. It just takes six years to reach the high horsepower. The opponent recognizing we wasn't at it. Hanging onto their protect shield. Boston now sends in Lugia. Tough decision to make. We know the opponent's going to have Stone Edge. Do they have Blizzard? Boston calls the bait. No, we get hit with a Blizzard. Holy crap. Boston looks for the Dragon Tail farm down. Unfortunately, we saw him all KO. Gyarados comes back out. Throws the Aquatel. Aquatel, of course, forces the Protect Shield. The opponent looking to double up on Sansia Storms. Even double resisted. A Sansia Storm will be lethal. We shield the first. The opponent at the back to back. And unfortunately, we're going to take a heartbreaking loss. But very well played to the opponent. GG's. Heading into the next battle. Oof. Boston running this team. Was hoping mammoths were extinct. Evidently they're not. And this is so bad for our team. We farm up. Throw the ice punch. But lose CMP Boston. Gonna shield up the incoming avalanche. Best case scenario is probably if the opponent let this go. Because then we can fast move beat it down. The opponent opt to invest that protection. We pivot into Gyarados. Drawing out Mewtwo. We see the instant no shield deployed. Gyarados not going to appreciate this side strike. Ouch. We near get one shot. However, we're able to withstand the damage return fire with the crunch. Crunch also goes unshielded. We get the defense drop. However, we still get Psycho Cut farmed out. However, they're not going to reach the Shadow Ball. So we can send in Lugia. One Dragon Tail will be secure in the knockout. However, we're now stuck in this dreadful matchup against this Mammoth. Boston still has one protect shield, two high behind. We opt to shield up this incoming avalanche. Do we see Boston look to make that catch? We actually farm up, throw the sky attack. Sky attack likely forces the opponent's final protect shield. We then pivot out into Ursaluna and the opponent sends out Groudon. Groudon is going to be greeted with the ice punch, which is super effective. But without getting the same type of attack bonus, doesn't anywhere near threaten the knockout. The opponent's going to be taking us out with the Precipice Blades. So I think Boston's made a bit of a misjudgment here. If I was Boston, after landing the Ice Punch, I would have stopped tapping my phone. Because you need to leave Farm on Groudon to leave with a Sky Attack. 
We can tank these fire punches for days and we know Mamo Swan already has an avalanche bank. So ideally we would like to CMP here. The opponent throws the avalanche. We just about hang on and unfortunately do get Powder Snow farmed down. A pretty close game to be honest, despite a dreadful lead. Heading into the next battle, we see the Kentucky Fried Chicken, Bird of Death, Master League Edition. Ursula uh, has got access to Thunder Punch, which could potentially force a protection. What Boston has other ideas, he farms up, catches the Sacred Fire onto Gyarados, where it is resisted, but still did half our health. Our Gyarados safe switch is once again greeted with the basic bitch tin can. Last season, the Ho-Oh -Ho Dialga Court was very, very good. However, now... The Landorus has access to Sansia Storm and Stone Edge. It's always had access to Stone Edge, but now it's got Sansia Storm. This core isn't anywhere near as good as it once was. Boston sends back out the Big Bear, tanks the Iron Head, returns fire with the Ice Punch. Ice Punch goes unshielded. We then see the pivot into Lugia, looking for the farm down. Lugia does get a very nice Dragon Tail farm down. Lugia is one of the best generalists in the Master League and it has got a lot of work ahead of itself back out. Comes ho -Oh, Boston fires off three Dragon Tails and the Sky Attack for optimal fast move timing. Sky Attack forces the opponent's first Protect Shield. Boston still with two Protect Shields himself. Of course going to be shielding up the incoming Sacred Fire. Please don't debuff us. The opponent then pivots out into ground on Boston. Full send in the Aero Blast. Does the opponent respect the damage? They do not. Look at the damage. We get the boost. Let's go Lugia, Lugia now, primed to sweep this game. Of course, Boston's just going to shield up whatever the opponent throw. And one more Dragon Tail is going to be all she wrote. GG's and thanks for playing. As always, a huge shout out to X Boston. Show me how to run Triple Shadows in the Open Master League. As always, such an impressive showcase. So if you're enjoying the content, smash that like button. If you're new, consider subscribing. If like X Boston, you'd like your battles featured on my channel. A link to my battle submission form is down below. And as always, a huge thank you to everyone for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.